What's good guys, welcome back to another episode of GNG News. I have got back into Batman, shout out to Naps, he was telling me he's been watching these before he goes to sleep. Um, I completed The Wolf Among Us, I actually have to go back and do another playthrough as I need to find some more books of fables. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that at some point. But we're now on to episode 3 of the Batman Telltale series game um, that I think is called The Enemy Within. So yeah, let's try and complete this. This game series adapts to the choices that you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Okay. I wear the mask in order to protect this city. But when faced with a new breed of criminals calling themselves the Pact, the direct approach was met with disaster. I had to don a different mask. As Bruce Wayne, I infiltrated their ranks. The plan was to get in, set the trap, and get out. But the plan failed. Now they're one step closer to their goal. And all I have are questions. What is the pact really after? Why steal Riddler's body? Friend or foe? Nice place you got here. Did it come with the vermin? Or did you add that yourselves? It's a little rundown, but the rent is right. This everyone? Riddler said you had a luchador in the mix. Bane? Oh, he came down with the case of the left behinds. Oops. <laughs> we are the entirety of our cabal at the moment. Oh, this gentleman was someone we picked up after Riddler's departure. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, was it? Charmed. Be gentle. This is Mr. Wayne's first foray into the field of felonry. Pleasure to meet you. Something tells me the pleasure is going to be all mine. You got the toy we talked about, beautiful? Get the Lady Sparkleys out of the safe, John. She ain't doing this out of the goodness of her heart like the rest of us. Brucey! Be a doll and give Kitty a hand. I ain't touching that popsicle. I got some thinking to do. Oh, let's get to... What are we doing? Well, we're going to... extricate the body. Riddler built a secret back door into the security system of his old employer. I need to scan his eyes, and then create a retinal key for them. Then I'll use the key to make goggles, and we can open whatever doors he could. Help me lift. This wasn't the original plan. He was supposed to be alive. Things change. Get his head in a good position. That's far enough. Dig the plates under his lids. Press the button and scan away. Ugh, that's gross. What the hell did they do to him? And what's with the refrigerator coffin? Why would the agency transport him like this? This doesn't add up, Bruce. Bruce, I'm sorry about Lucius. I'm guessing it wasn't a gas leak or whatever the news said. You're right. Riddler killed him. But it was meant for me. Damn it, Bruce. I... This isn't all on you. On to the next. I didn't know what I'd be walking into with this group, but I certainly didn't expect it to involve you. And I know you're no stranger to peril, but you shouldn't be here. So, what gives? 
No one told me you would be joining us either. Can't say I'm surprised. Not everyone here is happy to see me. I knew Riddler before this. He was the one who initially hired me. And he wound up dead, so... I'm not sure I have a lot of friends here. You're not the only one with questions. One question. Make it fast. Did you... Did you come back for me? Yes, Bruce. Because the world revolves around you. But, you know... I suppose there are worse people to run into. You done? His papers never looked so good. John, pay the lady. Don't spend them all in one place. You get the rest when we're inside. That wasn't the deal I made with Riddler. Take it up with him. Harley! You'll find I'm not disposed of so easily! You overstepped when you left him. And now it's time to pay the price. No. Oh, this one's actually got some brains. Everyone else better be smart, too. You! You are a means to an end when this is over. Did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming, because a little rat told them. They was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me from getting what I want. This leak... It nearly caused the demise of Gotham's favorite luchador. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And whoever it is, is gonna find their insides suddenly al fresco. That make you nervous, Bruce? What do you have to say? Don't threaten me. Careful, Bruce. You're valuable, but not irreplaceable. Remember that. It's not way! Excuse me, peanut gallery? You got something to say? Wayne pulled his own out there. Saw it with my own two eyes. I ain't gonna let a good effort go unnoticed. Then, let's get back to work! If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. <laughs> Lead us to our prize, and all will be forgiven. Wayne! Come here a second. That was dangerous. Now you're on her radar. Hey, we chose a dangerous line of work. Hiya, Bruce. Guess you're clear. For now. Because apparently you're so incapable. I got an errand for you. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job. Took the secret to his grave. Now I got his laptop. But look at this. And keep your yap shut. Can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. It's encrypted! It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. This is where you come in. Yeah, crazy, right? So you're gonna help me. Riddler had a beef with his former employers, who were cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. And what is it we're after, this super fun stuff? You ask a lot of questions, you know that? I've been able to piece together most of his plan, 
Except where the black site is. You're gonna find the location. And when you do, maybe you'll get a treat. A sweet, delicious little treat. You're asking me to do something with little or no information to go on. And when I asked you for some kind of clarification, you dodge. Bruce, did you see what just happened? I'm in charge here. That means when I ask you to bring me something, you deliver it. No questions asked. See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So, I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Road trip? With Bruce? I mean... Actually, I was thinking Catwoman. After all, she knew him. Mm -hmm. Good point. Take a two. I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Cat lady, are you more of a beef jerky or trumpet-shaped corn bites girl? <laughs> Why am I even asking? <laughs> I'll bring both. Hey, be careful around him. He's smarter than he looks. That's mm -hmm. good, because he looks... Off. <laughs> Who's ready to hit the road? Who you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? You, Harley. But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent Puddin. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I call! I want that black site location. I can't believe this is where he decided to set up shop. It wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. It's not the abode of a man who asked me to steal a Renoir, that's for sure. We should check the traps. Who knows what Riddler did to this place? On it. Come on, John. Glad you answered. We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. I'm sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. Well, innocent people died because of your no-show. You think I don't know that? These maniacs butchered my agents. My friends! I can't take losses like this. I need to lean on you even more now, Bruce. You being inside. It's our best hope. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen. By the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait, son. Punchline wrong. Let me start. It's fine, John. Riddler's eyes. They're a key to a door that lies somewhere in Gotham. And Harley doesn't know the location. She asked me to find it. Stay put for now and maintain your cover at all costs. This is our chance to get ahead of this train. So I say, Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good thing we searched around. I noticed an old security camera and deactivated it. 
No telling what we'll come across inside. Okay, let's find a way in. Just have to get through these boards. Don't worry. I brought my key. Hey, I believe in you, John. You show that wall who's boss. Hey, Bruce, I have an idea. Why don't you jimmy it open? Guilty is charged. Want to explain what you're doing out here? This isn't exactly the Heights. You know I'm friends with Jim Gordon. If you want to check on me, just call him up. You think I'm going to interrupt the boss and his family at dinner? I don't know. Are you? Oh, oh, okay. Detective... Bullock. Detective Bullock, correct. Uh, look, there's actually a very good reason for all of this. Stay right there, jerkwad. I'm calling this in. I've been asked to report any suspicious activity around here, and you're acting suspicious. Oh, come on now, Detective. We can work this out, just the two of us. I disagree. Bruce freaking way. Unbelievable. I wouldn't even be working tonight if I didn't need the extra dough. But maybe this will make me look good with the boss. Oh, sure, sure. O overtime, right? Well, maybe... Maybe I can help with that? I'm not that kind of cop. No, 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 of course not. Of course not. This... This benefits both of us. Here, here. It's everything I got on me. Just hang up the phone, and it's yours. <laughs> Try not to die in there. I do not want this coming back on me. Come on, let's get moving. Like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Me too. There's hope for everyone. I don't think any of us are beyond reach. <laughs> I know we've just met, but somehow I knew you'd say that. You knew him best. Where do you think he'd keep any info on what we're after? Well, not to state the obvious, but it's probably behind a riddle or a puzzle somewhere. Oh, I call the downstairs bedroom. <laughs> Careful, John. This place is probably a death trap. Follow him, Bruce. I don't want John's curiosity to get us killed. I'm getting really tempted to touch something. <laughs> How many TVs does one guy need? Probably afraid he'd miss something. You, 
gotta admire the ingenuity. It's a wonderful toy. It's a wonderful way to lose your hand. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. There's something under here. Some kind of platform. Handcart? I wonder what he was moving. Let me help you out, Bruce. I don't want you to bend your cover bow. inevitably follows. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Tesla coils. This whole place is an electrical death cage. If these start sending out energy, we'll all fry. Proud of his exploits, wasn't he? Riddler's bed couldn't look less comfortable if he tried. A pair of Riddler's shoes. He didn't exactly have great fashion sense. Well, he did say something about a foot. of it. We can't all get lobster thermidor on a whim. I take you by night. By day, take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. That sounds positive. Work, sleep, death. A little grim. A little boring is what it is.
work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. I take you by night, by day take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. <laughs> that sounds positive. Riddler's bed couldn't look less comfortable if he tried. he was a killer? Because he was rude to me! We need to stick together. I don't trust this kitten one bit. You know what they say about a black cat crossing your path. Don't worry, I can handle it. Oh, really? I'm Bruce Wayne. I deal with women like her all the time. This is where he built his boxes. Why do you hate Riddler so much? I've mentioned this before, but uh, he always interrupted me. Never let me get to the punchline. It takes a lot of confidence to tell a joke, you know? Made me look like an idiot! In front of Harley. Those other guys. Well, hey, uh, I guess I have the last laugh now. <laughs> John, we're friends, right? So I gotta ask, what do you see in Harley? A ruthlessness. The way her accent comes and goes when she's mad. The way she lets things escalate into violence. <laughs>
Tesla coils. This whole place is an electrical death cage. If these start sending out energy, we'll all fry. Sure proud of his exploits, wasn't he? Canned food, and lots of it. We can't all get lobster thermidor on a whim. like you've got both feet in the grave. You hear that? It's like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe... You can stay? Oh no! Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Uh, John, could you give us a moment? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, gotcha! Something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, now that we have a moment, care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. What's going on? Oh, I don't know. It seemed like fun. Stepping outside your comfort zone and all that. Changing it up can be healthy. Maybe there's room for us to finally meet in the middle. Sorry if I was a little rattled at the clubhouse back there. Wasn't quite ready to see your face again, but... You look good. Even with what looks like a piercing gone wrong. Not great or anything. So, you and Riddler, what you were a thing? Listen, nothing happened between Eddie and I. Nothing other than a few felonies. Don't worry. You'll always be my number one in Gotham. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. Who knows? The world's a complicated place. They're lunatics. They're dangerous. I'm dangerous too, Bruce. Or maybe you forgot that detail. You told me once I had more in me than just a thief. I can handle it without a babysitter. Can you two get a move on? Playing guard is getting pretty. Boring. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. We've got a job to do, remember? Let's just see what this is all about. This might hold the black site location. <sighs> Encrypted. Just like a laptop. There must be something nearby we can use. Might be a trap. Maybe. 
But we already made it past the line of security, so... Maybe not. Your certainty is assuring. USB drive. Didn't Riddler carry one of these in Europe? He did, mm -hmm. but they were purely aesthetic. Project Lotus. Sanctus. Retinal scan required. Uh, shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. The fastest protocol detected. The decryptor! Danger around every corner. Glad to see Gotham hasn't changed. You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, they're a group up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well, there's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up. I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius. This is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. What are you doing? Balancing the scales. You are not leaving here with that. Oh, honey. I'm already gone. as always. You haven't gotten past me yet. Slow down a bit! You're coming out blurry! Skilled you are with your hands. <laughs> Awfully bold move, considering we just met, Mr. Wayne. This is flirting. Move, John.
Bruce, but I'm taking Harley's laptop for myself. And I'm finishing this my way. <clears throat> Harley's laptop, huh? You and I, we're going to talk. Somewhere else. So, John, about the laptop, um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces, maybe I will, and maybe I'll do just that. Then she remember my name has an H in it. And how do you think Harley feels about snitches? She told me to snitch. I think she likes them. Well, maybe not. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? Not much to tell. She's just another criminal, John. She's only out for herself. Oh, you must be blind then, Bruce. I told you, I'm a watcher. I'm watching her. She sees something in you. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? People aren't as complex as you make them out to be. Harley's smart, but she's still human. She can be manipulated just like anyone else. Anyone, huh? How does one go about performing this magic trick? Find a problem they have, and then make sure they think you are the only one who can solve it. Once they have to rely on you, they're yours. <laughs> We're social animals, John. Might as well exploit it. But how do you know what makes them tick? Too bad you can't just open them up and take a look. People are their truest selves when they think no one else is watching. You can learn a lot from the shadows. Huh. Let's say I wanted to track a subject down. People are careless. They'll eventually give you a clue that'll lead you right to them. Once you've seen that, then you'll really know who they are. I've learned that manipulation can take on many forms. Some of them more subtle than others. Tell me more. Tell me everything. Get inside their head. Once you know how they think, you know what they want. And you use that. You know, one of the doctors in Arkham tried to get in here. Wait, wait. I have an idea. Let's try it out. First thing that comes to your head, what do you see? You don't think? Mm-hmm. It's a napkin with coffee stains on it. Stubborn. Just like me. That's what I said. But then I realized I wouldn't get any help from the doctor by being such a stick in the mud. 
you're an interesting case study, Mr. Wayne. I think you might be a danger to yourself and others. <laughs> Is what Dr. Leland would always say to me. <laughs> now, this one. What do you see? Looks like a ladder. Hmm. I can see that. A ladder doesn't care if you're going up or coming down. It just is. Kind of like the universe in general, right? So, what else are we to do but have some fun along the way? What an illuminating evening this has been, Bruce. I feel like we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Let's try just one John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Oh, I'm sorry, Bruce. There's a line, and that's beyond it. I mean, she's like... And you're like Bruce. Tell you what, though. Coffee's on me. this up you didn't show had me concerned what do you mean the agency convoy all those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show no, I didn't like you you don't take time off so what kept you I had business elsewhere that would better have been pretty damn important had to notify a lot of families tonight too many I was counting on you. Sorry. It's just we took a big hit from those animals. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. But then it was just Bane. He still beat us to a pulp and got away. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know Riddler tried to pin his death on you, but I had to ask myself, why would Riddler be so hell-bent on killing him in the first place? Did Fox have some kind of deal with him? Uh, there's more going on here. I know it. Maybe this Fox guy wasn't such an angel. Know what I mean? Not entirely. I knew Lucius Fox for years, Gordon. The man was a saint. On the surface, maybe. There's more to the story. Riddler targeted him for a reason. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. They could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look. Just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Uh, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. 
Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. At strike three, he flashes enough cash at one of my officers to get into Riddler's old workshop. Why? Wayne even dropped my name with Bullock, like I'd back him up. <laughs> Dirtbag's got stones, I'll give him none. Bruce Wayne is dirty, and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened, too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I know what it looks like, Gordon. But Wayne isn't dirty. You're wrong, you know. His whole thing, it doesn't add up. Gotham safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it! I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. I can't ask you to break the law, Jim. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you... You better not tell her we're coming. He sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selina and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Damn it. Gordon has gone too far this time. I can't help but have sympathy for a man trying to do what is just. He feels as if Gotham is slipping out of control. And it is. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. You know what must be done. Start out. I hope Gordon doesn't take it personally. I'm afraid he will. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to save. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have to let me in. I can't. Too much. I'm the best friend you have in Spandex or whatever my suit is. You can trust me. It's... it's my mustache. Your mustache? What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. No, uh-huh. Jeez, this is Arkham all over again. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> Looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on. Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets right there. And the gang who attacked the convoy. They needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. 
I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. That depends on what she does. If she hurts innocence, then I stop her. Wow, that's... You really... This is what dedication looks like, huh? Well, if I get the laptop, uh, there is no score, so win-win. Now, now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. But what the... No pictures. Laptop behind the stack deck. Well, I hope you weren't counting on a specific time, because, you know, that's what I use my phone for. You speak, but all I hear are lies! You dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Bane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the black site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Perhaps Wayne Enterprises could benefit from my efforts. This is wrong. You're sick. Sick is in the eye of the beholder, Mr. Wayne. I am only dedicated. We live in a twisted world, Bruce. Better to abide than struggle against it in vain. One more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on! I slipped up. Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down. No, I want to get paid just like you. I got mouths to feed. Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found. I... You know I'm no traitor. I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think. Remember? Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. Good, yeah, yeah. Now, now why, why would I do that if I was dirty? I don't throw you to the walls to cover my ass, right? Oh, ho, ho. a deft turn. But it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, on no, here? No, 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 no. Merely plugging their leak. 